Hi everyone, in this particular uh, tutorial we will be discussing about the strategy to convert or to create or build an expression tree using post fix notation of a given mathematical expression. So basically what we will be discussing today is from post fix notation how we can build an expression tree. Okay, gee. so uh, there are certain rules that help us in you can say in the creation of a expression tree that uh, we should know. But before that, one thing we should be very very clear about is what is basically a postfix notation or a postfix expression. So any mathematical operation in which the operands appear before operators is known as a postfix uh, notation or postfix representation of any equation. So let's say I write an equation for you. 3, 4, 15, 6, plus, power, plus, 14, 3, divided by 65, 5, mm, let's say, plus, plus, and, minus. Okay, so, uh, here, you can say this is an expression where operand appear before operators and in the end we get few operators as you can say uh, a combo or uh, the last few characters of this particular representation. Okay, see so this is uh, the you can say our uh, postfix expression uh, of you can say any given per particular infix expression okay see, so uh, here or any given mathematical expression here the rule number one states we have to start reading this particular notation from the right side okay see, so this is my right side so i'll start reading my equation from this particular right side and uh, i'll start moving towards the left side it is exactly the opposite of how we create an expression tree using prefix notation. So here the first operator uh, that we encounter is minus. So this minus here will become my, you can say root node. So after uh, selecting a particular node as a root node, the next step is to build an expression tree. So uh, rule number one is what? We will start reading expression from the right side of a given expression okay rule number two states whatever character you may encounter here either it's operate operator or an operand just insert it in the tree as a right subchild or right child okay insert it in the right subtree of the given particular expression so here uh, expression tree so here uh, we have created this node as you can see my child node here you can see it from here minus is our sorry this is not a child node this is a root node my bad this minus is my root node here i have inserted one node in a tree so um, starting from left side moving towards the uh, sorry starting from right side moving towards the left side the very next encounter uh, encountered character is this plus so what i do is i just insert in it at the right side of the just remember one thing since we are reading expression from the right so we will try to insert uh, the uh, you can say the very next character at the right side of the parent node okay so here what we uh, what is the next character that we encountered here is you can say this is my uh, plus so this plus will become the right child of the parent node now here you can see that uh, I I am like literally adding the right subchild or right uh, adding nodes towards the right side of the immediate parent node and I'll uh, continue on doing so until unless I reach an operand that is the very next character is 5 and this 5 is my you can say operand so I'll insert 5 over here to the right of the um, node that I have just recently or you can say I recently inserted now you have seen that Till the time I was uh, having the uh, operators, I was inserting to the right and when I receive very first operand, I'll full make my full stop here. I don't go for inserting any new nodes or any child nodes at, after this file. Why? Because as per the definition of expression tree, all the operators will appear at the intermediate nodes and all the operands can only take place at leaf nodes. So this uh, here I have encountered an operand. So this must have to be uh, you can say 
leaf node so leaf node means this node cannot have even a single child so i leave it as it is okay so i'll uh, go towards this next very next character that i encounter that i encounter here which is 65 so i go to the immediate brain end of this operand which is this plus and insert 65 over here okay now this portion is complete i'll uh, traverse or i look for the next operator which is division here so here what i get is division as an uh, left child of this plus symbol again division is a binary operator so we will keep on inserting towards its right until or unless i uh, encounter an operand so here what i received is three so three would become the right child of this division uh, just to give you a revision you see i have started reading this expression from the right side and my preference is to enter every node at the right side of any node containing operator as a value so here you see i have got division and after division i what i encounter is three which is an operator since i have moving towards this uh, right side so i'll prefer to insert node in the right side just make it a you can say you can say just a, a rule of thumb that while converting postfix to uh, you can say expression trees postfix uh, equation to expression trees you always move from right side and try to insert node in the right side of the expression tree until unless you found an operand whenever you found an operand next step is to insert whatever value or whatever very next character towards the left side of the parent node so here what i received 14 so 14 will be inserted as the left child of this division node which basically completes this subtree of this plus node okay so uh, as you can see that all the leaf nodes are operand nodes there is no inter no node having a uh, operator at the as a leaf node similarly there is no intermediate node having operand as a uh, as its value all are having operators as uh, you can say the value uh, node values okay so this tree is complete now whatever value i may encounter i'll directly insert it over here either it's operator or operand so what i have encountered is plus so plus will go here okay after plus what uh, i have encountered two values uh, next value which is again pow power so power will become the you can say right child of this my plus node and then again i have received plus so it means that this plus will also become the right child of the given power node okay so next uh, character very next character here that i will encounter is six so six will also become the right child of the parent node and uh, you you can see i have com uh, continued adding all the you can say nodes until unless i have encountered a node having a value which is an operand not an operator till the time i received or encounter an operator i keep on inserting it to the right of the parent node okay so after reaching the uh, this 16 whatever the next node may contain it will be inserted over here so i have found 15 over here so 15 will become the left uh, child of 5 node it will go towards its immediate parent and next value whatever it may be will be inserted over here here it is 4 so 4 will be inserted over here and then wh what we are left with the 3 so 3 will be inserted over here okay so this is how we created an uh, expression tree out of the prefix notation in order to cross check whether the uh, tree we have just created is valid or not or basically it's true or not what we can do uh, in order to cross check is we can basically uh, figure out its values like uh, apply post order traversal on this tree and the result that we will obtain would be the same expression from which we started creating this particular tree and uh, what comes under the umbrella of you can say post order traversal or, or the shortcut that i have already discussed in my some other video is in post order we first of all recursively visit our left subtree then recursively visit our right subtree and in the end we will print the calling function so just apply the uh, post order traversal on this tree and you will land at this given postfix notation uh, in this way you can cross check whether your expression tree is tr uh, truly created or correct or basically uh, uh, incorrect uh, 
you cannot like bound yourself to the post order traversal or post notation that is uh, there is a misconception uh, that usually students face which is if i create an expression tree from a post fix notation then this expression tree is only valid for uh, you can say regaining or figuring out the post fix notation that is uh, the way i have told you that this expression tree is only valid to get the post fix notation this statement is incorrect this is false you can basically figure out the infix version of this expression and uh, the prefix version of this particular given expression as well from this particular expression tree because this is a generic expression tree and this will give you a valid or a very genuine expression uh, expressions whether it is an infix expression or a prefix expression or a postfix expression you just have to choose the appropriate traversal strategy uh, which may help you to uh, figure out the appropriate or the desired notation of a given particular expression again you can cross check it with uh, by con trying to convert this expression using uh, stacks as well Th that's another uh, strategy or another uh, way of doing the thing okay ji so Uh, let's uh, just do another uh, you can say example so that we may get a hold of this topic so let's say i have got the expression like this a b let's say divide c plus let's say d uh, i am here inserting these commas between uh, these you can say operator and operators uh, operand and operators in order to get the better understanding however uh, uh, we can do it like uh, the that like i have done in the you can say my previous uh, demonstration as i have separated these characters via you can say space you can do the uh, do it like com separation delimiters uh, you can use comma as a separation delimiters so let's say this is my mm, minus and one more operator is needed multiplication okay this is my given expression and now what i want to do is i want to convert it into the uh, expression tree this is basically a postfix expression as you can see that operators are at the right side of this given particular tree okay so the first thing is we will move towards the right side that is i'll look for the character by character uh, characters all the characters that are at the right side uh, uh, moving from the right side like multiplication then minus then division then h and all other operators and operand and i'll create my uh, tree accordingly so the first node that will become my root node will be this multiplication then this minus will become the right child of this multiplication then division this division will also become the right child of uh, the minus node then i encounter h okay this h is an operand here this is not an operator so i cannot insert any further nodes uh, or child nodes or any further you can say sub tree here okay now here uh, after encountering h i have got another operator which is g so g would become the you can say left uh, node of this particular multiplication parent node okay after g i have encountered plus i'll insert it over here and then power power where will power go towards the right side of this particular plus operator so after this power i have encountered f so f will also be inserted at the right side of this you can say uh, immediate parent node and after f i have encountered e so you see at every step after uh, getting or gaining operand i am basically trying to complete that node having the uh, or the node that have basically uh, an operand or this is where we stop na in, uh, insertion say so i'll try to complete the other subtree of the immediate parent or the parent for whom we just uh, have encountered the you can say uh, operand node okay so the next one is d d will be inserted at the left side since all the you can say my tree all this part is complete so i now will focus on uh, creating tree or establishing tree with the you can say left uh, on the left side of this particular multiplication operator so whatever operation or operator i may receive here will be inserted at this particular point so i encounter plus plus will be inserted here and then what i have encountered next as a character which is c c is you can say an operand 
ठीक है वी डोंट नीड टू डू फर्दर इंसर्शन ओवर हेयर एज इट विल वायलेट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बाइन न्यूट्री सो द नेक्स्ट इज डिवीजन सो डिवीजन वुड बिकम द लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लस नोट एंड देन आई एनकाउंटर बी बी विल बिकम द राइट नोट एंड द लास्ट करेक्टर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर नोटेशन और पोस्ट विक्स एक्सप्रेशन वुड बिकम द लेफ्ट चाइल्ड ऑफ द इमीजिएट पेरेंट नोट नाउ एट एवरी नोट यू कैन सी एट एनी नोट इंटरमीडिएट नोट यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू चिल्ड्रन एंड एट लास्ट लेवल और एट लीव नोट वी हैव ऑलवेज हैव you can say operands there is no operator at the leave node that is at those nodes where there is uh, you can say to, uh, zero child there is always a value there is always a operator operand and uh, at all the intermediate nodes that is all the nodes having two children or uh, you can say um, total count of two nodes uh, uh, or sub tree having right and left post sub tree you can see this 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 and Uh, these nodes are which are intermediate nodes they all are having uh, operators at their value this is intermediate node this is intermediate node this is intermediate node this is intermediate node this is not an intermediate node because this is a leaf node whereas this is an intermediate node this is an intermediate node and this is a root node so all those you can say circles or nodes where i have dot uh, drawn uh, on the inside the circle or boxes you can see all these are intermediate node having two children whereas all the other nodes with nothing here are leaf nodes that is they don't have any child node so this is how we create a uh, expression tree out of you can say prefix note uh, post fix notation not prefix notation and again if i apply post order traversal uh, on this uh, particular tree i'll receive this expression if i apply uh, pre order i'll receive prefix expression and if i apply in order traversal i'll receive in order uh, yeah in fix notations out of uh, you can say or, or in in simpler words i'll basically convert this particular expression into its corresponding other types that is this is you can say this is my post order or post fix you can say expression i'll convert it into the in fix and and prefix notations as well prefix notations as well just by applying pre order in order or you can say post order traversal on the given expression tree uh okay ji this concludes today's you can say tutorial uh, in which we have tried to convert post fix ex uh, expression to expression trees so basically try to build um, expression trees out of a post fix notation and then in the end uh, we have also seen that how can we basically uh, convert uh, uh, get or fetch or figure out the in fix and prefix notation of the given post fix expression using expression trees okay ji that's it so if you have any question or any query do write in the comment box uh, or comment section of this video i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and uh, if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching